Hello, begin. Welcome back. What are we gonna talk about today? I don't know, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great, great stuff. We're gonna talk about um, notebooks. And that's, that's probably about, that's probably all, pretty much all we're gonna talk about. Hello, and welcome back to my writing blog, my Rai blog. Uh, today's topic is snot, snow, snotebooks. Ah, the snotebook. Keeper of ideas and dreams at Hogwarts. I was intending on doing this earlier, but um, some stuff came up. Work, actually paying work, or rather a small editing job. Um, also some other stuff. Estuindo a España. But um, sorry to have kept all 12 of you waiting. The point of this diatribe is that while I had no time, I had my handy dandy notebook to keep me company. Also to write in rough ideas and thoughts that came to me. Did my sideburns just jump cut? <laughs> Call it whatever you want. A notebook, an idea book, a journal, a diary. It's not a diary. <laughs> it's a diary, okay? Notebooks are personal and unique to everyone. Is everybody special? What I'd recommend is figuring out whatever rhythm works best for you. Now when I say the notebook, I'm not talking about the notebook, which I just so conveniently happen to have here but don't actually own and I'm fairly using for demonstrative comedic purposes, but the notebook that you carry around with you full of your world-changing ideas. Key thing to remember about notebooks is to carry them around with you wherever you go, so that if ever you're feeling inconsequential, you can just whip them out in a public place. <laughs> ladle, ladle, ladle. Then people can come up to you and talk. Chicks dig the quiet, brooding, semi-muscular look. Don't screw it up by talking. Jokes. We really just want to be left alone. We're trying to think here, and you're kind of intervening on that. I'm so lonely. You'll probably just end up among the few freaks who sketch, write, and doodle in public, and that's okay. Unite! In the case of me, yes, I am the anecdote, I started off with this lovely thing, which I reserved exclusively for brilliant novel ideas. A lot of angsty middle school poems in here, outlines for things that actually have survived to this day. <laughs> I like to carry my notebook around wherever I go, if at all possible, which means having it in a nice compact size. This, a little bit big, but doable. Ladle, ladle, ladle. This is too big. So is this. One of these is a lot more difficult to drown in than several pieces of paper. It's good to habitualize these sorts of things. The great thing about it is, it's all rough draft. You don't have to worry about what you're writing down as being great or good or even mediocre. The point is, is that it is. I like to think of my notebook as a brain crack patch. It gets the gears going, but keeps the fears from showing. Ah, the beauty of compromise. Or is it default? Not my fault, it's your fault. And you can put pretty much anything in your notebook from random ideas and thoughts to beautiful drawings and eloquent couplets. Or just plain word vomit. Or actual vomit, if you're into scrapbooking. <laughs> There's not a cutaway for that. You can really develop your own way of organizing ideas. For example, I like to use lots and lots of colors. Uh, not because it's pretty, well, kind of because it's pretty, but also because you can divide your thoughts on the page if you so happen to use the whole page. Capitalizing, outlining things in little squares. You'll develop your own jargon for yourself. I actually like to uh, date I actually like to record the date and time of everything I write down. It's a good calendar as I flip through and, What was I thinking? July 10th, 2010. Odds are, nothing, but if it so happens to be there, I'll know. Beware the exploding pen. The heat of your body in the pockets makes for the expansion of the ink in the tube and kishofui. But that shouldn't deter you. The other major benefit to keeping a notebook, other than looking awesome, is that you can step back from it and have a little slice of your consciousness see. Nessie? Snake! It's your own little self-documented chronology of your brain. You may notice certain recurring themes or patterns of ideas or even visuals that you didn't notice at the time of writing. For example, um, in some of my writing, I have a tendency to rhyme without really trying to. So in a sense, um, I'm a poet and I didn't even consciously acknowledge it. And if you find that one series of ideas is really taking a hold more than any of the others, you can always start another notebook to use exclusively for a certain project, such as this one, which I use for my YouTube videos, or this one, which I use as uh, notes and diagrams for my novel, particularly magical things. <clears throat> the physical action of writing something down is kind of like a kinesthetic memory aid. Amaze balls. Some people meditate, others go jogging or cycling, some people like to go for a drive or work in a soup kitchen, organize things, play solitaire. I retreat into the dark confines of my room, sit inside my head for a few hours, and write on vellum so as to quiet down the voices. It's basically the same thing. So don't be shy, get on out there, grab a pen, get a book, and start a writing. At the very least, at the end of the day, you'll have a collection of rough ideas and fetal thoughts that 
you'll come to love because they're yours. Or maybe you won't like them, maybe you'll hate them. And that's okay too, that's a, it's like a process of elimination, you'll know what you don't want to write. That's, that's equally valid. But I mean, what makes you think you're so special anyway, huh? Maybe, maybe they don't like you either, you know? You're not around, you come and go as you please, out late at night doing God knows what. When you are around, <laughs> you don't listen. Remember last Christmas? They asked for hungry, hungry hippos. You thought they wanted to see hippos. And what, you, you took them to the zoo. Then you lost them. And that thing happened in the large mammal exhibit. I'm not gonna wanna go poaching or watch Madagascar with you. Hope you're happy with yourself. You're just a bad person. That makes plural. Bye! Grr! Arg! Oh, this is so dumb.